Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Sunday, 29 January 2017, and I'm going to be fishing another lake today. This is White Lake that I am at, and uh, it's open to ice fishing. They've got decent parking, and the ice is still formed out there. I'm leaving my bucket that I normally carry everything in, and I'm just going to go ahead and go with the just gonna go ahead and go with the backpack so the backpack two rods and uh, my auger that's gonna be it I don't know this lake so the best way for me to be able to fish this thing is just by going on ahead and run and gun I don't know if there's such a thing in ice fishing but guess what that's what I'm gonna do take a look at Navionics and see if this lake it you know shows up on it if it does show up I'll at least be able to see some contour lines and those contour lines is going to give me my best idea of where I'm gonna need to fish so I'm here at my first spot and it's about 18 feet deep according to Navionics and uh, it's like a drop-off that comes to a shelf right before another drop-off so that 18 feet, that's what I'm hoping to, uh, to catch them on right before it drops off again. Let's go ahead and drill a hole, get down there, see if there's anything. This is probably going to be one of my last holes that I'm going to drill. I've done in excess of 10 holes already and I think I got one bite I'm not quite sure I wasn't ready for it it felt like I had a lot of tension so I don't know if it was structure at the bottom I seriously doubt it who knows it ended up not being anything but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put some procure on this send it back down there jig it a couple of times we'll see if it uh, turns into anything ahead and get everything put away and uh, go to another lake just be patient hopefully we'll uh, get somewhere where we can catch something <laughs> we are now headed to another lake because I failed miserably at this one I've dug I keep saying dug I drilled over 14 15 holes and did not produce not one thing on all of them Hope I can make it through this without falling through. Ah, yes. Yeah, as I was saying, approximately 15 holes, not one bite. Ah, so heartbreaking. I had such high hopes for that place right there, that lake, mainly because it's got trout in it. Oh well, let's go to the next lake. Made it to lake number two. And I've got approximately two and a half hours before I'm going to head out. The sun's out. The ice is super, super slick. There's somebody who, as soon as I pulled up, uh, just went over to the area that I was going to be fishing. And they decided to make the switcheroo. I don't know. We'll see. I'll just uh, probably stay deeper than what they are or probably go in more shallow. Let me get out there and try to catch two perch. Head back in. Holy smokes, man. There's a guy over there just going crazy with the gas auger. All right, let's get this first hole drilled and then we'll get straight to work. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to spin no more than maybe 20 minutes at each hole. Let's give it a 9-1000 count. 
jig it about five times and I'm gonna go ahead and hold it off the bottom now. Wait for that subtle thump. It's a pickerel. What are the chances of catching a pickerel? Seriously. Come on, bro. Take it easy. Look at this, fellas. I knew they were out here because they were talking about catching them here before, but uh, wow, pickerel. Let's go ahead and get this hook out of him really quick. <laughs> I'm glad I caught a fish, but uh, it's not what I'm looking for. All right, buddy, let's go ahead and set you free. I know the fish are here. Just hope with that pickerel out of the way, we'll go ahead and, you know, make room for the uh, crappie and perch. Here we go. It's a baby perch. This little beautiful fella. <laughs> Ain't you cute? Open your mouth. Just smile for the camera. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, beautiful perch. Let them go back, get bigger. Maybe next season somebody will find a good meal with uh, with him. There's another little baby perch. All right, fellas. Let's get him back in. These gloves really, really stink. Let's just keep at it. I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Eventually, I'm gonna catch something with some size. Here we go, 12 inches off, and you catch yourself a nice little large mouth bass. Little fella. You always hear me talk about it in every one of my videos, but I still can't stress enough when you're using jigs and a, a rod that has no backbone and you just want to set tension to your line and that jig head if you bend the hook upwards it's gonna always stick the top of their mouth let's get them back in there <laughs> hello <laughs> I'm going back home <laughs> little guy I love largemouth bass oh look at this small tiny little morsel look at that that's gotta work let's get it down there go finally got him look at this guys Ugh. That's a really beautiful crappie. I've already got crappie fillets for fish sticks at the house, so it's this guy's lucky day. This is a huge, <laughs> huge crappie. Let's put him back. The bite is completely shut down. The fish are not aggressive the way they were whenever I first got here. Uh, I noticed lately that with the sun, once that sun goes over the horizon, that's it, the bite completely shuts down. Uh, I should have got here a little bit earlier, called it quits on the first lake and then just got here to the second lake. Whenever I first got here and I drilled my first hole, you know, I thought it was gonna be a sign of good things to come. Four fish right off the bat, two small perch, a small large mouth, and then uh, a pickerel. With the exception of this one, a nice 12 inch crappie, I, I'm gonna guess it's about 12 inches, uh, just completely shut down. Anyhow, I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the comments that you leave. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, tight lines.